Summer Camp is also one of the, my favorite companies in the world. Yeah. Like it is, this is a staple of my life. I think the first interview I ever did was at Summer yeah. Camp, and a lot of my greatest friends I've met at events like Summer Camp. Luckily, Summer Camp happened. I think all in all, after going a whole year without any big festivals, it seemed like everyone had a giant smile on their face. I think the fact that they stay true to the jam band ethic, which is tour all the time, play hard, build your fan base. Humphreys and Moe, that's what they do. And then they invite, you know, all kinds of bands. You know, the bus wouldn't be leaving until, say, three or four in the morning. So after our set, we just have time just to walk around. You just walk into these stages and you discover some weird band. Be like, whoa, they... They book all kinds of music. It's really, you know, there's all the jam bands, but there's a lot of electronic stuff. So to me, my advice is just to walk around and, 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 and take a chance and see something you don't know. You know, whether it's a DJ, like just making big fat beats with bass that rocks your bowels or a drummer doing something mind blowing. You know, that's what was, is cool about summer camp to me there's nothing like it you know i think there there's a lot of festivals across the u.s that had their own identic identifiable beginnings that they died out they've you know they've been pushed out by big festivals you know they had to change locations they didn't have good leadership the bands that were in charge of it like just you know kind of dwindled you know and i think that I think it's, it's really, it's a combination of like the integrity and quality of what Umphreys McGee and what Mo produce um, along with, uh, you know, Ian and Jay Goldberg. I think that they, it's like a really good kind of match of being able to create something that really reflects a broader community that's beyond Dumfries, is beyond Mo, but give a chance for the communities around those bands to celebrate those bands and experiment and see all these other bands too. And then like to bring in these like, you know, uh, huge acts that bring people completely from different world. And there's just so much to, to do there. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a large community, you know? So I think it's really hard to sustain the size and the the breadth of what they've created, but like the it's 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 really going well. That's all I can say. It just feels like the it's vibrant and why people go to summer camp. They deliver exactly. You know, Soul Shine and Soul Patch. It's like you look at what's developing there. It's super cool, and it's very grassroots. The reason why Soul Patch and Soul 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 Shine works is because. You know, as Vanessa Robinson, like, you know, partnering with Ian and everybody, but owning that area, building the team and their heart and soul uh, is in it, you know, and uh, you don't get that at a lot of places. So if you look at if you look at us, you know, this festival this weekend, I don't know how many bands, let's say there's 120 just to give it a round number. And it's probably something around there. Right. And there's, you know, nine, ten thousand people here. There's probably not that many people that leave here angry about it. Right, you know, so all these different bands, as much as we're playing different kinds of music, different styles, saying different things, it all is pretty much going positive. It's making these people happy. That's why they come here. I think not only are we saying something, the crowd is saying something back and feeling something. You know, so it's all like it's 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 all very reciprocal. And no matter what band it is, what style, whatever, we're all trying to say the same thing, or at least project the feeling onto people, you know, so they're happy, everybody's positive, and they all leave here, and they keep coming back year after year, so obviously, whatever the conversation or the feeling is, or what we're saying, is effective. It's so interesting, though, like, we talk, the words thrown around, and I mean, these are thrown around by everyone, good vibes, you leave feeling good, you leave feeling happy, but, you know, when you're, when you're looking into the eye of a guitarist, just furiously ripping through a solo, that's not good vibes <laughs> like it's it's fury and it, it's revolution it's revolting against yeah. against what 
that's I guess it's unique to the performer. Yeah. It's also it's unique to the listener. It's yeah. how you're gonna interpret it. You can't right. you know, I, it's, What's the, you know, you look at uh, poetry, um, you, have you ever studied it in high school or college and you know, the road not taken by Robert Frost and everyone's like, What does this poem mean? You can have a room full of twenty people and get fifteen different answers as to what it means to them. Well, it's the same thing here. If you're standing out watching someone play the person next to you could be watching the same person and get a completely different interpretation of what is actually happening, how it affects them, how it makes them feel. And it's filtered through you. It's filtered through your experiences in life, whatever happened to you that day, what you ate for dinner, whatever it might be. I mean, it's the same thing okay. playing. When you're, when you're playing, you're just interpreting something that's coming through you. It's not, there's very little complete conscious effort to select each individual note and like try to arrange it in this whole thing when it, when you're doing it live you're just kind of interpreting a, a moment summer camp means absolutely everything this is our yeah we played it every year since we've been a band it's my favorite festival of all time by far and you know i went here for the, the first time just as a patron and the next year i was playing it and i couldn't even believe it you know and being back here now is amazing like the vibes here are absolutely off the charts i feel like this is going to be the best summer camp ever summer camp for me was one of the first music festivals that i felt really part of this community of musicians um, and everybody was super open and, and really friendly to hang out and talk to. Uh, I think I remember like the first time that we were there we were, was the first time I met Keller Williams and Marcus King, um, you know, uh, uh, Vinny from Mo. you know, and it's like, oh, everybody's here. Everybody's hanging out. And it just it just seemed like such like a it was it's almost like a musician's festival. Right. Like you finally get to see your favorite bands. You finally get an opportunity to see your friends play. That's the one thing about you know, being a musician is, is you hardly get a chance to, to see your friends play because you're always, you know, playing on different days and all this stuff and, you know, different times and you're kind of in and out and like in passing, you get to see some of your friends, you know, and, uh, and at something like this, I remember just traveling around to all the different stages, you know, to see, you know, all our friends play music. And it's, it's just, it is, it's a, it is like a musician's festival, um, and a, and a great sense of community there. So that's one of the reasons why I love summer camp so much. Wherever the bar was that I was at before walking into that festival, when I got there, it jumped up a few notches. When I see certain things that are succeeding at that festival, they're keeping around all the good, positive things that come from each year, but then they're making these small changes every time I go back that I notice that it's like, they've just been able to evolve and keep a sense of like growth going inside of this world that is the same thing, but it's these small changes that really make a big difference. They're really just grabbing the cream of the crop in every sector of music. You know, they pick kind of like the highest quality of a lot of the bands out there across all the genres and styles and different cultures. And that's really what a festival is, is about being a melting pot, you know, of like all these different things. They somehow every single year just keep blowing your mind over and over again. Honestly, I, I think that I've discovered more music at that festival than a lot of other festivals. I learned a lot about the bands that I've seen a lot of times just from hanging out with some different people at the shows and then kind of pointing out some different things, being like, man, do you notice this? Or like, I love how they do this thing, uh, you know, or like the, this tr these transitions into this stuff. Uh, it just, it really just makes it like, feel like a whole, like a wholesome event, you know, that I, I can, I can go watch a band I've seen 30 times, but get to hang out, hang around some people I've never met before. And then it's like, I get to see these bands in a whole new way, just because it's like, it's just a different experience through the route of being in the environment that you're in and being surrounded by the people that you are. I think we went to summer camp in 2013. So we were juniors. Um, in our music programs at school being at summer camp and seeing some bands that really really crushed it uh really kind of changed everything for us and i remember it was i was with him and umphreys mcgee it was their second set on friday night and we just kind of had this moment that was like we haven't been doing this because we thought it was kind of like 
gone. So it's like, somewhere where you can walk around all day and discover new bands. It's somewhere where the bar of talent is really high. Um, and you pretty much don't need to worry about it. If you walk over to a show, there's going to be something about that show that, that you can appreciate, even if it's not your style, even if it's not like maybe your favorite thing in the world, like the bands that are on those stages deserve to be there um, at pretty much at all level. And that's magical to me. I love this place. Uh, shout out to all the people who put this thing on because it's, it's fucking beautiful. And I can't wait to hopefully be a part of it for, for years to come. At the end of the day, it's about a bunch of people just coming together to enjoy a shared experience. Um, and when you throw music into the mix, really good music with like huge stages and awesome light and, and all the other festivities that go along with, with events like this. I think the jam scene in particular is just, it's a really tight knit community with a lot of people who are um, very warm and friendly. And I think a lot of their warmth um, comes from being exposed to their own community is it kind of, you know, the vibes all amalgamate into people kind of reaching a, a very particular version of like their best selves, you know, and um, music comes and goes, it moves fast. It'll leave all us musicians behind. And if we're lucky, we could make a little bit of an impact while, our, while our, we're around. But the ultimate thing that keeps the whole thing alive are the people who love not just the music, but each other and the whole thing, you know, that's what, that's why a festival can last that long. You got to shout out the people behind it. Like obviously, you know, Jay Goldberg and Umphreys and there's been a lot of people who took huge risks um, and they've, they've refined it year after year. They're, they're, putting on stuff to make the event unique. They're putting a lot of stuff and even more importantly to facilitate those connections. I mean, just like, you know, the, the kickball thing, like those, those the little games and stuff they have are, are really important to the identity of that festival. Um, and they've developed it in a way that as a piece of entertainment is really, really fun. And people want to come back. They want to be a part of that. It was kind of like a dream and it still kind of feels like a dream. It came down to like days before summer camp. We're like, bro, we're really going to do this, you know? And of course we played it one other time, but it's just so surreal. It's such a huge event and there's so many amazing musicians and, and amazing people and the staff and crew. So, and then it came up to like, all right, now we're here and it still didn't feel real, you know? And then we played and it was like, still like larger than life, you know? And then now after having done it all, it's still, it's just kind of like, damn, you know, like it's just amazing, magical. 20 years speaks for itself. You know what I mean? They've worked out all the bugs. They've, you know, got the right team together. They know exactly what the lay of the land is. And it's so obvious when you get there because everything's right where it needs to be. Uh, the crew, the staff, hospitality, camping, the stages, transportation. I mean, the whole thing. I mean, it's really around every turn. It's like, you know, there's another thing that they just thought of already. You know what I mean? It's just uh, so hats off to them. It's a huge accomplishment. I think for a lot of people, um, especially particularly in the Midwest, it, it, it kind of is their first big festival. And so it, it always kind of holds a special place in your heart. Uh, you always make it a priority to make it back there year after year. With their camp council program, they engage people that are heavily involved with the music scene from all the cities across the Midwest. Uh, they just uh, they make it so that it, it feels like a family, even though it is a large scale, big production music festival. I heard someone say a long time ago that um, the version of yourself at a music festival is your purest form. Um, so when explaining summer camp to, uh, to people that have never gone, um, that, that's usually what I say that it's, uh, you know, it, it really allows you to leave, um, your trials and tribulations, everything you're going through in your day-to-day -day life and just kind of, you know, escape for a few days and all that BS will be there waiting for you when you get back. But, you know, just for those four days, you can just really experience, uh, music and community in particular. And after the year and a half we've all had, not having that sense of community, not having 
um, you know, uh, live shows on a weekly basis is something that we've all been longing for. And yeah, so if you if you, if you haven't been to summer camp, I highly recommend you go. If you, you know, wherever you see this interview or like scrolling through Facebook and you just you see this, just just go ahead and buy tickets for next year. Just tr- trust me on this one. You want you want to go. Thank you for listening. Shout out to the sponsor, SEM Tickets. We love y'all. See you real soon.